Okay, uh, test of the uh, virtual file system. As you can see, my uh, my machine only has the two drives. So I'm just going to start up the virtual system, which is a MySQL file system um, that I've been working on. So now it's open. I've left the debugging on, so you can just kind of see as it's doing stuff. Here's the new drive. Let's go to the properties. You can see it's the file system is MySQL. Uh, I've just put two gigs as the uh, disk space. It will never run out um, of that. It's just a number that I've sort of hard coded in there. So um, let's go into the drive, create a folder. I'll rename the folder to whatever. Go into that folder. I'll just create another subfolder. Um, now I'm just going to drop you a, a couple of files into that folder. So let's see, um, do that one. Um, let's do. Um, uh, let's do a couple of cars in the interior area. So now I've got a few bitmaps um, or JPEGs. I'm just going to drop a bitmap in there. So here's the bitmap. Uh, let's drop, say, a text file. Um, and uh, let's say the X Wing data. So now we've got a few files in the system. Oh, I'll just drop a couple of root files in there. Um, let's copy some files from. Uh, Projects. Um, uh, yeah, let's just grab a couple of these. Copy those over. You can see it's doing its little copying all the file data, etc. Now, as this has been happening, I'll just bring up the table again. So, this was the original. I'm just refreshing that so now you can see all the actual um, indexes for the uh, the files and some file data is actually in there now. So, you can sort of see. It's that's being stored now. Um, let's see, new folder file search. Now, search will actually just kind of search on um, folders and, and files. So, if I go for instance, uh, anything that has pass, which I know I've dropped a few Pascal files over there. So, there's um, some pass files. Um, let's say, for instance, anything that's got, say, JPEG. So, I'm just going to go in there, there's the JPEG stuff. Um, at the moment, all I'm doing is just showing the actual path. Uh, when I get a, a minute, I'll actually change it so you can open the files from here. But just at the moment, it's informational only. So um, now, let's say, for instance, new folder contains. Now, these are these are actually hard coded within the system I've been working on. So if I create another one, let's say, for instance, I want to find all files that has the word users. Um, now I know that all these past files it has the users clause in it. So um, let's say, for instance, uh, we want to find files that contain BM. I know the bitmaps usually have a file header to start with BM. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's you know uh, without the debugging turned on, uh, it's actually faster. Uh, there is some stuff that I would like to do, which is. Um, just speed up some of the file handling routines at the moment. They're a little bit, um, a little bit kind of slow, but you know, as you can see, it's kind of reading small chunks of it. So if I can actually improve on that, I will. But um, you can see it's fairly snappy. I mean, I'm actually buffering files once they're loaded, so uh, only when they're asked to clear out do they uh, get dropped out of the system. So yeah, so that's it for the moment. And uh, when I get some more time, I'll uh, I'll do a little bit more work on it. So. I'm just gonna, as you said, you know, it, 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 it's just a hard code sort of file size, but I'm just gonna un unmount that now. It's gone. Thanks.